Hey, how's it going? I'm Taylor, and today we're going to be putting together some uh, monster sounds using uh, pig squeals and horse sounds. And we're just going to be using uh, Ableton clip based warping here, like repitch and maybe some texture to really pull out all the harmonic craziness with these sounds here. So I have the pig squeal right here. It's already pretty pretty good audio we got in here so it should be make it pretty easy for us so it's gonna turn on the warping it's gonna go into repitch here and uh, with repitch um, pitch and time are connected so whenever I stretch out any piece of audio it's going to pitch down the sound or pitch up the sound so anything that is quicker is gonna be higher pitch anything that is longer is gonna be a lower pitch so I'm going to first start out by stretching this first section over here. So I'll be like kind of a gurgly, throaty monster sound over here. I want it to sound like kind of a like a large orc pig. That sounds pretty good. So I want to make sure this little chortle snort thing right here is accented okay so I'm gonna just replace a warp marker at the beginning of this spot so I can just stretch this stuff separately let me pull this back to the beginning over here there's a little zap at the beginning of that because it's really really short took away of that warp marker so now we got some negative space over here cool so now I can stretch out this audio clip so now this pig has gained about five tons and grown at least 50 feet Try to embellish this first section a little bit more. Maybe even just get this whole first section here. Cool. So, from the start, this sounds just a little bit. So, yeah, cool. That's the power of repitch here. Get to have multiple different types of uh, stretched out sounds going in there. So,. Now I want to just consolidate this guy and then try doing a little bit more to it. So I'm just pitching it up now that I've repitched all this kind of harmonic content around. It's kind of getting jumbled up now. Switching to texture, which is the uh, polyphonic grain mode that I have in here. So grain size, uh, two milliseconds up to 263, then flux, just like a randomizer for the grain sizes. So now this this giant orc pig has jumped 500 years into the future. So we can add a couple more effects to this guy. Get like a chorus. 
It spreads it out a little bit. Maybe get an overdrive, turn up the dynamics so it doesn't compress it. It's just a little bit on the high end here. It's because when you stretch out all this stuff, you lose a little bit of resolution and start hearing some like aliasing and stuff. Um, so we got a couple of those effects on there. Get a frequency shifter, try some ring modulation. Pull this down to just kilohertz. Let's do some like spin effects. It's just an amplitude modulation, so that's going to be the speed here. So that's cool. Try messing around some of that. A lot of good harmonic content to be found in animal noises here. And if you just try anything really, like you can get really cool textures and really weird alien like sounds out of pretty much any audio you want to stretch out like that. Let's try this horse now. We tried on a new audio track here. Amplitude. All right, so I want to warp this guy, bring this into repitch as well. And this I want to turn into like a giant monster in the background, maybe, in just kind of like a a distant moan kind of thing. So I'm just gonna increase the length of this, just to have a lot of room to work with. I'm gonna make this end kind of cap off. I'm just going to stretch out this audio. Nice. All right, so I'm going to now just put a little reverb on here. Then I'm going to also do a little bit before this guy. I'm going to bring in a saturator and then simple delay so delay we're gonna be putting down to like milliseconds give it a little bit of a uh, graininess to it and then the saturator just push it up a little bit pull down the output just give it a little bit more kind of grit to it push up this decay, decay time just kind of shape it off here not too bright get a chorus in here after the simple delay. So that's my tip. Um, check out the free sample pack and check out Pure Mind. Thanks. Very much like to thank Pure Mind for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool, and until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music, and you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. We, we learned it all. The fundamentals 
of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.